been going out with CA the last three years to Louisiana fishing and we know what it's capable of and what, what kind of fishery they have and what they can produce. And um, this was my third trip out there and it's our first travel series trip and we we're hoping that we could catch some big fish. And uh, we are second day in, we had a really good, good day. Right, guys I know it looks bleak here with all the rain as the backdrop but if we can punch through that one shower get down river there's a lake or I'm gonna say it's like a bay if you will that's down there in the Delta a little bit past uh, past Alutra and we will have a lot of targets even in poor lighting conditions we'll be able to test a lot of this Shimano gear um, and you in particular are going to love this today because, I mean, these fish float. They're not like at home where they're spooky where you got to yeah. lead them. I mean, you're going to be able to throw right on top of them and catch them. All reds? All, all, reds. all reds, a lot of black drum, yep. and with the river dropping and the tide pulling out today, there will likely be a bunch of largemouth bass that come out of the canes. So. Awesome. That'll be really cool. I mean, uh, weather conditions, you know, I always say the fish are already wet, so uh, if you want to go after them, sometimes you got to get wet on the way there. All right, well, so. I promise I can deliver that. <laughs> stand, stand by. So on this trip, I bought Brian Dufek from Shimano with me. He's, uh, he's one of my good Shimano guys that we, we deal with hand in hand every day at, at Sodium. And uh, he's a great fisherman, wanted to bring him with me. Uh, he came with me last year and we're gonna try and make this a yearly deal. And he's just a great sight caster and we got right out there and I mean, he saw a nice black drum and it was game on. Oh, right there, there's one right there. Saw him come up? Yeah, his tail right there. See that little boil? Yep, I'm coming to it. I mean, it. he like turned, I mean, I threw right on top of him. Go ahead. He was right in there somewhere. There he is. There he is. There you go. Big ugly. That is a tractor. <laughs> Chroma Pop helping you out, man. Helping you out. You know this animal here is going to pull us around. They don't, they don't have small black drum in Louisiana, not where I fish. Maybe on the outside, but not on the inside. On the inside, all these guys weigh anywhere from 18 to 30 pounds. He's just now figuring out there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. You can, you can give me a big high five later for giving you that medium heavy action rod. Yeah, if, if well that's what I was saying, that little, I talked about bringing that little 6.8 spinner. Yeah. <laughs> it would have weighed it. Because that's a heavy fish in it, yeah. and it, that rod will handle it. That rod will handle it. They don't have the big run when you catch one of these big redfish, but they do have the persistence and, and steady drag pull, especially through this grass. He's taking us for a ride, giving us a tour. Well, you need to kill some time anyway. Oh, there he goes. He, he, he broke free there. He broke free. Are you breathing up there? Yeah. Cal? This is like a freaking, <laughs> this is like an F-250, man. You're quiet. 
He's not uh not not moving fast. <laughs> he's not moving fast, but he's got it in four wheel drive they're, right now. They're slow and steady, and they have that low gear. Well, I'll tell you what, they you like that two, little crab. If you ate two biscuits this morning, you're gonna. I gotta. Well, the cool thing was, I threw right on top of him. I didn't know he was there. I was just blind casting, and I, I saw him. He looked like he turned on it on the first cast. Yeah. And then I pitched right back in there, and he couldn't stand it. He had to get a hold of it. That's a moose, man. Testament to that hook. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. Well, there's the crab. Yep. And you had him hooked. I mean, really hooked. Hot dog. Man. That is a pig, man. Whew. Well, it's almost like fishing in Africa or something, huh? That's like big game hunting. Nice work, buddy. You want to try to hold them up? That's what Get a you... quick pick and then we'll revive them. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. That's why you come to Louisiana right That's there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. See, I ate two biscuits, two biscuits this morning. <laughs> I think he ate about two pounds of snails. Yeah. He's a. Uh, Whew. And a couple of crabs. He's not short on. on uh... So I wanted Brian to catch the first fish. So I just kind of, I let him go. Uh, I don't really like to catch big black drum anyway. I like to catch bigger red fish. So I waited for my turn, which was next. And I saw what I thought was like a cypress stump, but it was actually a monster red fish. And I, he was a good, he was a good like football field away from me at least. And I uh, threw as hard as I could, landed like six inches from his nose and he just, he walloped that, yep. fish. that kicker. Crack. Red fish. Oh, big red fish, big red fish. Big redfish. Oh yeah. Kind of had that stingray That's look to it. He doesn't know what's happened no. yet. He he's not he running hard know. yet. He doesn't know the deal. You know, a lot of of this style of fishing, you need the fish to float up high in the hydrilla to get a legit shot at them and be able to catch them. But what's been going on today, for some reason, with these storms around, is they have they have been laying down low like right down on the bottom and it it makes for a tough opportunity to get the crab low enough and in front of them and uh finally that one there he chewed in fact i didn't even think it was a redfish because casey had made such a long cast to catch that one i'm trying to go as fast as i can this is the kind of terrain that you can't even have a trolling motor really be effective and yes, there is teamwork in this. Bring your, bring your rod to, to me. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep it tight. Team Shimano. <laughs> Woo! This is a fish that you is don't a want to big take a fish. On. This might be your biggest red of all time right here. This may be a PB. I'm going to tell you right now, I yeah. guarantee you this fish is going to be. 40 inches. That's why we're using that type of equipment. You know, that medium heavy action rod, 15 pound braid. And he's running for cover. But Twin Power is a strong, you know, there's a lot of drag there. That's why I have that stuff locked down so much. Just trying to get him to the outside edge here. You know how you said, when in doubt, cast? That's right. That's I wasn't really sure if it was there. I just saw some. Oh my little. God, look at the size of this redfish, buddy. Oh. Oh. God, wait. Oh. God, I'm 240 pounds and I can barely lever him in. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, man. That's a hook there. That's why we're using that big five aught right there. He's every bit of four or five inches past it. He's got to be 41. It might be your new personal best. I think, I think so. so. You're going to have to get a pick with this one. Yeah. It just, you got to have a picture with this one. And then I got to get him back in the water. After I caught that redfish, everything after this was a bonus for me. Um, those, and that's another part about the, the fishery out in Louisiana. You know, you, when those fish take off, you know, your line's going this way and the fish is over here. It's, it's crazy. Like he, he, it's almost a tag team effort. You're pulling your line in, you got your helper is on the bow and he's pulling the spaghetti off your, 
off your line and, and you know, when your fish is still over here and then you're still reeling, it's a, it's a, it takes two people out there in that fresh water to, to, cause it's so uh, rich with vegetation and stuff that the, the greenery out there just grows nonstop. And um, you just, it, it's a, it's a two man game when it comes to fishing in Louisiana. I'll tell you what, if we're gonna, if we're gonna have a last fish of the day, that might have been it right there. That's the best way to end a day of fishing like this. Okay. Is to Simply catch phenomenal. It, you end it on a personal best. That's what you do. Yeah, that's amazing. Casey spotted them, made the cast and presentation <laughs> without any direction and from anybody. He's off. like, that's a big We must have caught fish. that thing 200 yards in there. It took us all the way out here. That's amazing. Good job, my friend. Nice work. Good job. This travel trip was awesome, but I can promise you the one that comes out in September is going to be even more epic.